But U.S. has tacitly admitted that every nation has its imperfections and it's not in a position to preach to India. This Every society, including the United States and India, has challenges and has problems. I can tell you that Prime Minister Modi and President Biden had discreet, important conversations about some of our differences. Each of our countries is imperfect. I don't think the United States can or should be in a position where it lectures any other country. However, BJP and other opposition parties do not agree with the view of Congress and have quipped in that India does not need lectures from anyone on democracy. I read the statement of Mr. Carl Campbell where he said that the United States uh, should not lecture India on democracy or on the human rights. I agree with him, in fact. The India is the largest democracy in the world. I read the statement of Mr. Carl Campbell where he said that the United States uh, should not lecture India on democracy or on the human rights. I agree with him, in fact. The India is the largest democracy in the world, and Indian society is a multicultural, multi-religious, multilingual. We all coexist here and we all live in absolute harmony. And no country has got a right to interfere or lecture or give any kind of advice to any country. And as for the Indian democracy is concerned, Indian democracy being the largest democracy in the world, every country look up to the Indian democracy because we have the unity in the diversity. And people say Indian democracy is in danger, and but I don't agree with that for the reason is it may uh, be facing the threat because of the ideology of some parties. But as for the democracy is concerned, I don't think the democracy is in danger. And no country, in fact, has got right to lecture India on democracy or the human rights or any internal matter. And as for the India's concern, we know how to govern our affairs and we don't need any kind of lecturing or any kind of uh, uh, direction from any other country. And uh, in fact, India is on the verge of becoming a superpower and we take pride in that and we are all working uh, towards achieving that goal and I'm sure that all Indians would uh, agree with the statement of Mr. Kurt Campbell and uh, since India and United States share a very cordial relationship, very strong bonding and work on different uh, fronts uh, very closely and uh, we in fact uh, uh, you know, are the good partners in business, in bilateral trade, and uh, we are promoting the culture. And uh, so, uh, in the light of that, uh, what Mr. Kurt Campbell said has a lot of relevance to that.